Okay. If you're watching this video, then you have decided to join me in my couch to 5K journey. It's bright and early, at least for me. I usually never wake up at 7 in the morning, but it is 7 in the morning right now. So without further ado, we're going to get started with a five minute brisk walk warm up. And I literally just got out of bed. So I wanna make sure that my legs and my knees, my hips, everything's feeling decent for me to be able to go on this little run that we're going to be able to do today. So today is Tuesday, man, I'm even stumbling my words. That's how early it is for me. <laughs> so today is Tuesday. And what I'm going to do on the screen now is I'm going to put the routine that we're going to be doing, but I will talk about it right now. So today, the first one ever, we're going to be running for one minute and then walking for one minute. And we're going to repeat that for 10 times. I'm going to do my best to give you audio cues. I'm not going to rely so much on visual cues because, again, if I want for people to be able to watch this video and join me on this journey, I think it's more important that they have the phone probably in their pocket or one of those armband things and just listen to the cues. I don't want you to have to worry about watching the video or watching anything. I just want you to listen to the cues and then by the time the video is done, you would have done the exact routine with me. And that's exactly how I plan on doing the remainder of all the routines moving forward in this Couch to 5K series. Now something I think is kind of funny and a little bit weird is that I'm wearing a head mount. So the angle might look a little bit different. Hopefully it doesn't look weird. This is the first video after all, so of course we'll continue making improvements as we go along here. But it does look strange. I probably look insane. I'm walking around with a hat on just so it doesn't look too crazy. I feel like everyone that wears the head mount for GoPro always has a hat on because if you just wear the head mount, it looks a little wild. So I have the GoPro mounted on my head and I'm still wearing the chest mount to be able to actually support the microphone because I feel like if I just clip the microphone to my shirt, it's just not gonna sound very good. So I really hope that five minutes is enough for me to actually warm up my legs. The last time I went on a pretty good jog, I had actually walked for like 30 minutes before I even started jogging. So I'm going to be doing some light jogging. When it says run, I don't perceive that to mean, you know, run at full force. My goal is to get a jog going and maybe that's all I do in this first six weeks, you know? Maybe the only thing I ever do when it says run is do a light jog. As long as my heart rate is increasing and I feel the intensity, then I think we're good to go. Now, I just realized I haven't started the Map My Walk. So what I'll do today is I will start Map My Walk when we're going to start the Couch to 5K, the actual session. So just bear with me, I'll let you all know when we do that. And of course, like every other video, I'll be posting the stats I'll be posting all the stats of this on the description of each of the different videos. So this will be, or rather this will mark the beginning of a new playlist on the channel. Couch to 5K beginner, let's call it. Good news is, after doing some research, I've already found intermediate plans. I haven't gone as far to find advanced plans, but I do know that there is a path forward. So as long as we continue doing this, there will be plenty of content coming your way to be able to help you train for hopefully doing a 5K and hopefully more marathons and half marathons and just overall increasing your fitness level. So we got about a minute and a half left and then we will begin. Again, we'll start with running for one minute, walking for one minute. And I guess the cues that I will be using, I'll be doing things like saying, start running, start walking, Stop running, stop walking. And based on those cues, you'll know exactly what you need to do. Hopefully the video is as smooth as it can be. I've heard that the head mount is better for running. I think, I forget in which walk I did it, but I tried jogging. Actually, it's called fall walk something jogging. I forget the number, but I tried jogging there and the video was incredibly shaky. So let's hope this one's a little bit better. Now at this time, there are a lot of people waking up. So definitely a lot of people will see me with my gear on, but it doesn't matter. We're out here doing our thing and it's hard. Don't get me wrong. I woke up at seven today and I didn't really feel like getting up, but I had to. That's the way that we make this work. It's part of the journey. 
You got 20 seconds on the clock. So I'll start with saying, start running. Then I'll say, stop running, start walking, stop walking, start running, so on and so forth. 10 seconds, let's get ready to start running. Actually, let's do this. Let us start, map my walk. <laughs> Got you maybe a little excited there. You thought you were about to start running. We're gonna start workout. When I click on workout, we will start running. All right. Start working. Start jogging. Stop running, start walking. All right. First walk break. And let me tell you, for me, it is pretty intense. Hopefully the camera was somewhat stable. Whew. I won't talk too much to try and preserve as much oxygen as I can. Most importantly, remember to try and breathe consistently and push yourself. Don't worry about necessarily running for as long as I do, or even walking for as long as I do. Just stay with me the 20 minutes and get past the video with whatever you feel comfortable with. But again, this is supposed to be challenging. And this is exactly why I keep the other walking videos for the people that wanna continue with that intensity of just walking. All right, get ready to jog or run right now. All right, start walking. So we're going to be doing this cycle 10 times, which means the duration of the workout should be 20 minutes in length. It's only 20 minutes in length today. Actually, I'm not sure if there are any other 20 minute workouts for the remainder of the Couch to 5K sessions. Also, I'm really hoping it doesn't rain. It looks like it is drizzling. That's not fun. Not really because of me, but because of my microphone. And I really need to be able to use my microphone at this time because with the waterproof mount, you won't hear a thing. All right, let's get ready to jog in five seconds. Start running right now. Don't worry so much about the pace. Even if jogging to you means a brisk walk, just increase the intensity by whatever you feel comfortable doing.
start walking right now. Those minutes go by incredibly quickly. Let me do a quick camera readjust here. Make sure that's all right. Seems like everything's sitting where it needs to be. Yeah. Minutes go by fast. My pace has certainly decreased. But again, like I said, even if in that jogging period, you're just walking faster or jogging for five seconds, just make sure you push yourself, okay? I feel really good. Like I said, I'm never the type of person to ever wake up at this time to do any sort of physical activity, which is why I always do it mid-afternoon. But I'm not gonna lie, this does feel very nice. Feels good to wake up with the sun. Okay, we got about eight seconds until we run again. Start running right now. I am trying to very carefully control my breathing. Breathing in through my nose and not through my mouth. I want you all to try and do the same if you can. start walking right now okay so what an amazing exercise we're doing right we are training the most important muscle in our body is the heart this will make you more able will give you better endurance cardiovascular fitness you should feel your heart pumping nicely right now I sure feel mine and let me tell you it feels awesome I feel alive This is very cool. I really hope we can reach some people looking to try and find a way to incorporate jogging into their routine and take things up a notch, especially from someone like me who really is a beginner. There are no preconceived notions with these videos. Okay, start running right now. Like I said, my pace has decreased significantly, but I'm still trying to do a light jog with the intention of improving over time. Okay, start walking. After this walk, we will be at our halfway point. So congratulations for making it this far. I think we're doing great. We're gonna continue going here. Just enjoy the morning. Enjoy the sunrise. Enjoy the good sweat you're getting. Just get pumped up for the day. Just go into work, school, Whatever you're gonna do, with your head up high, knowing that you did your workout in the morning, you got something done. You woke up, you showed up, and you're here and we're doing it together. That's very important. In 10 seconds, we're going to walk. And again, we're at the halfway point, so let's push it till the end. 
Two seconds and jog. Five more seconds and we can walk. All right, I got a nice amount of sweat coming off my face. Let's see if I can remove a little bit of that. Ooh. Man. Now, there's a YouTuber by the name of Nick Barr who preaches the idea of hybrid, a hybrid athlete because the two, the two camps are, you know, yeah, running is great, jogging is great for cardiovascular health, but am I gonna lose my lean muscle mass? That's always been a, you know, I guess a point of contention or a point of debate. Apparently, it's only really bad if you're trying out for the really, really intense triathlons and Ironman type of events. I think a little bit of jogging here and there will not hurt you. And again, I'm not trying to be the strongest person ever. I just wanna be a well-rounded athlete. Five seconds, we'll start jogging. And start jogging right now. morning. And it's time to start walking again. Okay. I think what I'm going to try and do is before the video starts, I'm going to give a little tutorial of the type of audio cues I'm going to have. You hear it in my voice, but I will try to put a little beep in there for start running and stop running. You can imagine that the start running beep will probably be higher pitched, more lively. The stop running sound will be lower pitch and mark more of an ending. But we're doing great guys. We are over the halfway mark, 13 minutes and 40 seconds in. We're almost to the end, so I want you all to continue pushing yourself, even if you only have to walk for the last 10 minutes. Let's get it, and let's do it together. Like I say, let's get better together every day. All right, three seconds till we jog, and start jogging right now. As you can probably see, my pace is really slowed down here. But my heart rate's still up and it feels good.
Okay. Wasn't even looking at the time. Let's keep walking. Whew. Okay. We're almost done, guys. We're so close to the end. We got five, less than five minutes left. And then you can go and shower, start your day with a pep in your step, right? Woo. I'll tell you one thing. And I said in the beginning of the video, I have never, ever done this in my life, in my 30 years of life. Never woken up at seven in the morning to go on a run or a jog or any form of exercise. So I'm right there with you. We're all in this journey together. We're all beginners, which is cool. No preconceived notions, like I said here. All right, four seconds to jog. Three, two, one, jog. So it's funny, when I thought that we were over halfway, we were actually way past halfway. And I'll tell you why. When I read the clock, it's at 13. And in my head, for some reason, I have military time on my phone. So I read it as one, thinking that was like the start of a new 10 hours. But good news for you guys is uh, we got less than four minutes left. We're on 16 now, and that's 16 minutes, not four o'clock. Start walking. There are a lot of birds on that tree. Has anyone played Bioshock Infinite? Murder of Crows? That's what I feel like right now. My heart rate is up. I am sweating a storm. I am a sweater. I definitely tend to sweat more than I think the average person. Even just at a standstill, if it's hot, I am sweating a lot. The sun's coming out. It's extremely humid. I can't wait to be able to do these walks in colder air. But again, it's the challenge. It's what we have to do. In 10 seconds, we're going to jog, and then we're going to finish strongly with a single walk. Let's go. really push ourselves here. Maybe jog a little bit faster. Last jog. Okay, this is it guys, the home stretch. We are at the last walk. After this walk, we'll be at 20 minutes. Give yourself a big round of applause. Pat yourself on the back because we've done it. First week, first day of our six week Couch 25K training program. It wasn't easy, but if you got up and you made it all the way to the end with me, congratulations. No that you are improving yourself, right? It takes a lot to do what we just did. It's not just about the walk, right? You committed to something, you got up in the morning, you showed up, you did the thing. And now, honestly, you're just gonna continue kicking ass for the rest of the day. You got that buff for anyone that's ever played online, massive multiplayer online games, you got the running buff. Keep it up. I will see you guys this evening for a 30 minute walk. 
And until next time, take it easy, guys. Let's see how easy it is for me to actually, let me, let me finish the workout. I'll call this one couch to 5K, one, save workout. Let's go 1.6 miles, 20 minutes and nine seconds duration, 197 calories and 2.6K steps. So thank you all again for watching and I will see you all in the next video.